Hey guys, welcome back to Four Speed Shop. So today, uh, I've got an engine that I've kind of like looked at for a little while, and I've got it to run a couple times, so I know it runs. But today, I found out it had electric start on it. So uh, it's a little 18 horse engine. I was gonna put it on my go kart for a while, and then I went and put a lawnmower transaxle on the go kart, and now it looks really jank. So I'm gonna fix that here in a little while. But uh, today, we're going to mess around with this engine and make sure it runs. Or, well, no, make sure the, uh, the electric start works. Because if it does, it makes things way easier. And that means whenever I, uh, whenever I throw it on my go-kart, I can just put the electric start right on the front of the go-kart so I don't have to get out to start it. So yeah, let's get going. This here is the engine. Um, from what I looked up, I think it was a 90s. But, uh, if, Jesus. Uh, so this thing is all cast iron, <laughs> as you can see. It's a Tecumseh, Tecumish, so yeah, it's Tecumseh, okay. Uh, Tecumseh 18 horse engine right there. You can see the VIN OH8180. It means it makes 18 horsepower. So uh, it's gonna be quite the upgrade from the six and a half Tecumseh I have on mine currently. <laughs> so, we're gonna be messing with that, but yeah, so entirely cast iron, the XL Extra Life. This sticker is actually in really good condition. Uh, if y'all want to see this, I know the engine looks a little rough, but uh, the oil doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Granted, there's not much in it, but there is some in it, and it don't look too, too bad. So, uh as I spin this around using both hands, because this thing is just, as I mentioned earlier, it's massive. Ah, that goes, hey, it's lighter now, weight savings. But so, uh, this right here is the electric starter. And I saw that and it was like, holy crap, it has an electric start feature on it. I had always seen this switch and this button, so I figured this is just the kill switch. Never really knew what the button did. So I'm gonna hook that up to these and we're gonna see if it fires over. So let's get going. All right, so if anyone ever tells you you can't fix things by hitting them with a hammer, tell them they're wrong. Because you can, and you should. It makes life great. Okay, I don't even know if this starter solenoid over here works, but we'll find out. Okay, so 12 volt, two amp. Ooh, uh, <laughs> There's a little spark right there. Okay, now watch this, kids. Don't try this at home. So I think the starter's dead. <laughs> it would make sense as to why it's not doing anything. 12 volt, 10 amp, let's go. Oh. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> it's not dead. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm gonna turn that to off real quick so I don't die again, as I keep saying. You know, just safety, safety first. You just always gotta make sure that you strap things onto things and you don't know where they're going just have to have a vague idea and then you do wait, wait we can't put that there okay so now that's like that and now I turn that back on holy crap it works all right kids this is a bad idea oh. come on <laughs> oh it's smoking all right guys here we go 12 volt start Holy crap. Okay, well, hold on before I fry that thing. <laughs> yeah, it definitely needs a new starter. But, Christ, that means I don't, ah! <laughs> that means I don't have to pull it now. Cause I, I'll tell you what, pulling that thing over was the worst experience of my life. Jesus, it, it's just, it's bad. It, it's so hard to pull. 
I do think the motor needs a little bit of help. But, okay, so we're gonna go run over here. We're gonna get some starting fluid so we can make it go broom broom. Ah! <laughs> so we're gonna go throw this on, throw it on. I'm just gonna do this. Lots of starting fluid, lots of fun. I might die, we might explode. Let's find out if we explode. See, it runs. Well, guys, that's pretty great. Please turn off, thank you. Yeah, so uh, it runs, like I said, but that makes life just 10 times easier. I do need to pull the carb off and clean it. I don't know what this goes to. What does that even do? Oh, is that the, that's the throttle. Okay, that's what that does. Here's the choke, you know. I just gotta figure out what I need to do to it besides cleaning the carb and uh, messing with some stuff. Oh, is that an EGR? Yeah, uh, this thing's actually really cool. I'm gonna make sure to, uh, what I need to do for my go-kart is I'm gonna put a live axle on the rear because you know, it was only running one with a clutch and it kind of sucked. So uh, let me turn this around again. Sorry for the video quality. Oh, look, it turned right, turned itself around. But yeah, so one inch shaft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this off and then I'm gonna get a uh, torque converter for it. Bolt that up there. If I can, I think I can. Just gonna knock all that crap out of there. But yeah, so bolt up a torque converter to it. Get a live axle for the go-kart and then uh yeah whenever i do that we'll be ready to go i'm just gonna have to disconnect some of this and then of course put a battery on it so i can hook up the starter because that's awesome bonus footage if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content hit that notification bell uh, that way every time I post you can see it and uh, yeah thank y'all for watching <laughs>